So, so in a sense, I'm renewing my engagement with the work of Iron Katie on this call. Um, uh, there have been some moments. Thank you, everyone who's been involved in this community, and thank you, Todd, because there have been some moments since I sort of fell out of practice and got away where it's really been uh, an incredible resource um, to use the work of Iron Katie. But I haven't been doing it so much uh, for a while. Um, so I have two things. Uh, the first is uh, just sort of a, a kind of a question, and then also a few things I brought to, to actually do the work on, okay. I suppose. I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. And they're probably related to the first thing. Okay, uh, so what's the first thing? Okay. Um, yeah, when, before I was getting on, I, I like what you said about, about it, it's everything, because I was like, oh, I could do the work on that, or I could do the work on that. And I quickly realized I could do the work on anything. So yeah. that means there's so many, so much freedom. Um, so when I, when I sort of sat with what was going on inside me before I got on this call and, and, you know, I, I'm noticing my, my thoughts and my, my inner world, uh, and there's expectations, you know, around what I want to get out of it and what should I do and what should I say, all that sort of thing. And then I kind of quickly went to, you know, what's the big thing in my life? What's the big thing that's bothering me? Uh, let's let's start there. Um, and and what really came up for me was a, a kind of a question around to put it simply and to just state it: How can the work help me make decisions in real time in my life? The work is very contemplative, and, and it's a process of inquiry. And and I'm specifically thinking of uh, maybe a stressful situation where. Uh, I continually come back to the work to help me deal with the stress of the situation, let's say, to do my inner work to show up better in the situation. But how, how, what's the connection, if any, between that and the situation changing or deciding to change the situation? Uh, and I'm, this is about it. I think I'm almost done. Thanks for your patience. Um, as just a, a just a garden variety example, I, maybe I have a job I don't like very much, and I'm doing the work a lot to try to fit in there or for it to work well for me and not be stressful. But maybe I find you know it continues to be a source of stress. Maybe I don't belong there. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So I think that example captures it. Thank you. That's a great example, and it's an important one. Um, <clears throat> what I always say is that the work is not for making decisions. Um, I don't, I don't use the work to make decisions um, there. It's a separate thing, but it helps in a different way in making decisions. And uh, so what I mean by that is the work just deals with stress um, and it deals with it in a very specific way. It deals with it in terms of changing how I see a situation rather than changing the situation itself. Um, there are two ways to deal with stress. One is change the situation. If I can, I will. Um, mm. The other is change how I'm seeing the situation. And the nice thing about that is even if I can't change the situation, I still have options for seeing it and experience it, experiencing it in a more peaceful way. So that's where the work, it's like a fallback. It's there, it's always there as an option to find peace, make peace with any kind of situation. But I say that I don't use it to make decisions um, because the decision is, okay, I should do this or I should do this. Which one should I do? It's a question and it's sort of, um, it has to do with the field of action really. Um, and decisions are a personal thing. They come from somewhere kind of similar to when you're doing the work, you're looking inside. But the actual decision making process, usually it's a very personal thing and you and you just say, okay, I'm going to do this. It's like taking action. I'm just going to go that direction or I'm going to go this mm -hmm. direction. Mm -hmm. So even though I don't use the work to make decisions, what how the work helps me with decisions is that it allows me to 
um, become less stressed about the situation. So say I am in a job I don't like and I'm really stressed about it, then my brain is like compressed, right? Everything mm -hmm. is really <clears throat> tight and really, I'm anxious, I'm angry maybe, I'm frustrated, uh, I'm reactive. And so anything the boss does or anything that some task I don't like, I'm fluctuating from anger and then maybe I'm, maybe I'm doing the work and getting a little calmer again, but then I'm getting anger again. And like, it's all this, this bottled up emotion uh, that's happening. And, and so when I'm under the influence of a lot of emotion, my decision-making ability is not very good. Uh, I'm going to just take the first thing, first, first train out of here. I'm, I'm gone, right? Like, and so people throw away good jobs that they liked 90% of the time because 10% of it they didn't like and, um, you know, they become reactive. So when you do the work, you take that job that you liked 90% of the time, let's say, or maybe it was you only liked it 10% of the time. doesn't matter. But the job that was making you angry, you take it, you do the work on some situations there. And what happens in my experience is the anger starts to go down. Like, okay, it's not my first preference. This job isn't exactly a good fit for me. I can kind of see that, but I'm not angry about it. I'm, I'm like, mm -hmm. okay, at least it's paying the bills right now. Uh, it's a good stepping stone. It's who knows what, what I like about it. Um, <clears throat> So what the work does is it takes the pressure off of the situation. It just lets me relax into, okay, it isn't perfect, but I'm okay with it for now. And I'll keep my eye out for maybe there's a better job. And then when the job, good, better job does come along, then great. I, I switch jobs um, or I may switch jobs or I may just find that I'm, this was actually a great job for me after all. I mean, who knew that that can happen as well. Mm -hmm. So the work is just about reducing the, the stressful experience in the situation. But uh, a lot of people misunderstand the work and think that that means you just have to stay in the situation. And that's not true. Uh, that's why I say decision making is one thing. Doing the work is another thing. Another way of saying that is the work is about getting clearer inside, getting more peaceful inside. And then there's action, which is a totally separate thing. So I can be peaceful whether or not I take action. They're two separate independent things. And maybe I just take action and don't do the work and I get some peace from that, right? Or maybe I do the work and I don't take action and it's good enough for me. I'm, I'm peaceful enough in that situation. Or maybe I do the work, find some peace and still take action and leave that job. Uh, and and that's fine too. So just, it's just a matter of seeing that these are two independent things. That's, that's the main point that I'm trying to make here. Um, so if I'm stuck in trying to make a decision, what I'll usually do, first of all, I can do a piece of work on decision-making that can be interesting. <laughs> I need to make a decision right now. Is it true? You know, I need to make a decision and just questioning that thought can sometimes take the pressure off right away. But then secondly, uh, I'll just do the work on the situation, say in this job or whatever, and, and I start getting clearer and clearer um, about what's causing my stress. Is it my job or is it my thinking? And as I become clearer about that, I become more relaxed. And in that relaxed state, I can take uh, a, a wide view of my situation and ask myself, is this really the best place for me? And it's not coming from reaction, got to get out of here. It's more coming at like, where would I like to be? Where could mm -hmm. I go? And what kind of job would be suited for me? And you start being creative and, and um, resourceful when you're not stressed. So that's the way I see the work. It's a meditation. And it's just about like getting clearer, getting more calm, getting easier, being more uh, relaxed and less stressed in a situation. But just because I'm relaxed and not stressed doesn't mean I can't change the situation too. You can do both or you can do either. And those are options. So I don't know if that addresses what you were um, 
thinking about. In, in so many ways, I'm, I'm still taking it in. Thank, thank you, Tom. Um, it, it just, uh, you know, I guess one small response would be that um, I'm, I'm recognizing kind of where the, where the, the issue comes from internally and, and, and uh, just your response just helps me remember in a, in a kind of a felt way, like, oh, right, that, that's how this, this works again. Um, so I could see how even the question was coming from a kind of a stressful place and how there's some pressure around needing to make a decision, which is not, not really real. Um, it, it strikes me that, that, you know, it's, it's a lesson that I'll, or, a, or a, a realization that I just will continue to have that acceptance doesn't mean acquiescence or it doesn't mean not taking action, uh, which is just something I was conditioned like many of us to, to assume. And I, I'm still working through that <laughs> conditioning, but I, I love what you highlighted about. Yeah. Just, I mean, that makes, makes total sense from experience. We're talking about uh, getting a new perspective and maybe the shift in perspective um, opens up new possibilities. Maybe it's okay to remain where we're at, but that's really another, another thing. Um, yeah. It, yeah. Yeah. Basically we're just, we're just looking inside and seeing if we can find uh, a more, a broader way of seeing things. And in that broader way of seeing things, we, we may change or we may not change, uh, but it's going to be in a more peaceful place usually. So yeah, sometimes I talk about the work. The purpose of the work is, is to experience life in a more peaceful way. That's all. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. not about getting to any end goal in terms of action or doing. It's just if you're if you can feel content in the same job, great. If you feel better changing jobs, great. <laughs> there's just no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there's it has no strings attached. It has no preconceived notions of what you should or shouldn't do or anything like that. It's just, okay, how can you find peace? That's what it's about. It helps you to work to hear, at least for me and my experience, what, whatever is going on really at the core, or, you know, getting, getting through the layers into the quieter places where I can hear what's really, you know, how I really feel about the situation. Um, what's really important for me and what I, what I need in life. Yeah. Yeah. That's it.